Hi guys, it's Ashley, and today I'm gonna and today I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. I feel like I haven't really caught up with you guys in like a long time. I feel like there's been a lot of life changes, a lot of things that I just like want to have a chat with you guys about. I want to have like a good little heart to heart. So I'm really excited for today's video. I literally just asked you guys for a bunch of questions on my Instagram, which is at a a ashley k. Good morning. Film me a Q and A today. Let me know what your questions are. So we got a whole bunch of questions from you guys. Let's just get right into it. I mean, I could answer like some of the basic questions about me just to like get them out of the way. So like I. So if you guys don't know, my name is Ashley. I am 21. I just graduated college in May from RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. I was a business and, what was I? Can't even remember anymore. I was a business management major with a minor in psychology. Bless you, are you okay? Also, I am half Korean, half white, mostly like German, French, English. I've lived in upstate New York for like the majority of my life and that's where I'm currently residing at the moment. Oh, I'm like 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'4 five, and a half. My birthday was October 23rd, 1999. Those were like the basics about me. I started YouTube in 2018. Since then, I'm just doing it as my full-time job. My dream job, I love to make videos. I love to connect with you guys. It's just, it's a dream, it really is. Anyways, let's get into the questions that you guys asked me. Someone asked, did you have another career in mind that you wanted to pursue before YouTube? And the answer is yes. I always thought that I would end up doing either like optometry school or going to medical school and probably doing ophthalmology. That is what I focused on in college for like my first three years of college. I took all of the classes for, oh my God, look at this. She's all the way up there. And then I ended up switching to business just because once I like really felt like I could do YouTube full time, I was like, you know what? I think it makes the most sense for me to switch my major to business and just to graduate that way. All of my jobs that I've had in the past that I've ever held have all been medical jobs. Like an ophthalmic assistant, I've worked doing stuff at like a plastic surgery center, things like that. So what else? Okay, this is completely different. Someone asked, when did you have your first kiss? I had my first kiss, I think when I was like, I wanna say 16. Also, another person asked, do I still plan on moving to California one day? I think eventually, yes, or eventually somewhere warm. What is one accomplishment you would like to see yourself achieve in the future? I would like to see myself create a business of some sort. I'm not sure what, but like some sort of business that's outside of YouTube, whether it's like a clothing line or like something like that. I really want to like branch out and do my own entrepreneurial type of thing. Some countries that I want to visit, I really want to visit France, mostly because I can speak French like enough to get around. Any place in Europe is fine with me. I would like to go anywhere. Is there a time you thought you would stop doing YouTube videos? There's never been a time that I thought I would stop doing YouTube videos. I think throughout the whole thing, I'm, I'm always have the mindset that it's never gonna stop. Like I say guys, like I feel like I've said this a million times, but like I literally like want to vlog until I'm like a grandma, which is insane to think about because imagine like years from now, if like I'm still able to vlog or like if YouTube is still like a thing, I could have like years of my life completely documented, like literally my entire life. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's something I'm so passionate about. Like I would just love to do it forever. So you guys can watch me until I'm like 90 if you want. I'll be here. A lot of people have also been asking me like, how are you doing really? Someone said literally, how has your mental health been doing? I hope you're well. Oh my God, it was literally my friend Kat. Thanks Kat for asking that question. This is something I've been wanting to talk about. Back in May, I was like really stressed out because I feel like I was going through a lot of life changes. I was obviously graduating college. I had a lot of YouTube stress. I was also moving at the time. Plus I was low key scared to go outside because like there was a lot of Asian hate crimes during that time of like the year. And I was just like really freaked out. So I was like, I'm gonna start therapy. So I started using BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp, since it was just like a really easy way to start therapy because it was like online and it didn't intimidate me. And I just felt like I had a lot of things going on in my life that were like kind of stopping me from achieving my goals. So you guys will not believe this, but BetterHelp reached out to me and I was like, yes. So I do want to thank BetterHelp so much for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp isn't a crisis line or self-help. It's professional counseling that's done securely online and it's available to people worldwide. It's super easy to create an account. Personally, I wanted a therapist that was a female and a person of color just because I really like wanted to have some understanding when it came to that, especially because like I said, I was going through a lot with the Asian hate crimes at the time. But yeah, from there you can start communicating within 48 hours and you can also message your counselor anytime, just like basically like texting and you'll get thoughtful responses back. Plus you can schedule weekly phone or video calls, which I feel like are super helpful. 
feel like I've really gotten to know a lot more about myself and learn about ways that I can try to heal and to really stay on top of my goals. And also God knows that I needed therapy after this summer. But yeah, overall, I feel like it's just really helped me pick myself up and stay on track. So if you guys want to join me and the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health, you guys can go to betterhelp.com slash your mom Ashley and you guys can get 10% off of your first month. So of course that link will be right down below in the description if you wanna go check it out. Okay, now I feel like I have to answer this question. I feel like this is probably why you guys are maybe even just watching the video, but I did get like quite a few questions that were like, where's Charles? And I guess if you guys haven't listened to my podcast or like seen some of my community posts on YouTube or my posts on Instagram, then you guys wouldn't know that Charles and I broke up quite a while ago um, over the summer. And I never formally mentioned it in a YouTube video just because like, I'm not trying to like stir things up. But yeah, in case you're wondering, we're no longer together. A lot of you guys have been like asking me for advice, like how did you heal? How did you do this? Blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that looks really different for everyone. But for me personally, I feel like, like it's been, I feel like it's been a really good process for me. Like even in just like the past few months, I feel like I've grown a lot as a person. I think it happened for a reason and it needed to happen. I feel like I know my worth. So at the end of the day, as long as you know your worth, we're all good. I deserve to be in like a loving and happy relationship. So yeah, kind of on that note, someone asked me, are you satisfied with your life right now? And the answer is yes. I actually feel like I'm totally satisfied with my life. I'm feeling like just really happy and optimistic. I mean, I generally feel like I am a very optimistic person, but yeah, I'm so grateful to be doing YouTube just because of like the flexibility that it offers me. I feel like I'm really excited hopefully to travel in the future or just like do fun things. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. Does my cat have a name yet? She literally doesn't. And I've had her for like a while, like a long time. And I'm looking at her cause she's up there. So like I said in my last video, her name is Silky. That's the name that she came with. But I feel like Silky's like not sticking. And the only other name that was sticking was the name Fortnite, which is, I don't want to name my cat Fortnite. But that's what like a lot of people that I know call her Fortnite. And another question that I get a lot about the kitty is if she gets along well with my dog, Bubby and they have not met yet so i'm still like waiting to see how they how they do together my parents and i like we were kind of thinking like bubby's probably lonely silky is probably lonely so we're like oh maybe we should see how they do together and if they're like really good friends like the kitty could live at my parents house maybe with bubby if they like get along as friends or just something like that we'll see because my mom really loves really loves the kitty. Favorite place to shop for workout clothes. I really like to get workout clothes from Thread Up. So like secondhand like Lululemon, Nike. I also, what else? I love Halara. Halara has like the cutest workout skirts that I wear all the time. You guys have probably seen me wear this skirt like a million times, like my most favorite skirt ever. Plus they have like really cute like little short sleeve like workout tops. I also love Set Active. Set Active always hooks me up with the cutest sets. And then of course, I did also get the question, what's your gym routine? And it used to be like, I would just do sports, gymnastics, cheer, like I would just do my sports and like that was my main workout and like occasionally go to the gym here and there. Now, I do a lot of yoga. I used to do a lot of running, not really anymore, but I used to like be running like five miles. I can't believe I was doing that, but like, it just gets like boring. So I've been recently doing Orange Theory, which is like a workout class where you do like treadmill rowing and like weights. And I've really liked that because it's like high intensity interval training type of style. In addition to that, I go to the gym sometimes and like just do my own thing. I like to do like 12, 3.30 on the treadmill. I lift with my dad a lot because my dad likes to lift. So like we'll be spotting each other, we'll be benching. What are the steps of your everyday makeup? I am posting a video about that soon. So I will just link the video because because if I say it here, it'll probably be really boring. Where am I right now? Somebody asked and I'm in my apartment. It's like my favorite corner of my apartment. How to navigate living alone slash is it scary? And as you guys know, I'm living alone right now. Believe it or not, this is actually not my first time living alone. It's actually my second time living alone. It is like, it is kind of scary, but you definitely get used to it. I think the scariest thing is like walking in from the parking lot. Like that's when I'm most scared. But other than that, like I feel like I'm chilling and I'm fine. And it's a good learning experience to be comfortable just with yourself. Of course, it can be like kind of difficult sometimes because you're just like, oh, this is like kind of boring. But as long as like you do things with like your friends and stuff, then like it's fine. Um, and that's another thing I feel like in one of my last podcasts, if you guys listen to my podcast, I'm like always being really vulnerable in there. Like if you really want to know my life details, like they're going to be in the podcast. But I feel like I made a podcast recently and I was like, guys, I feel like I have no friends. Like I'm really just so like sad right now because um, like post-grad, all my friends from college just like, poof, like dispersed 
gone. But then I also realized I've been like kind of actively pushing away my friends by like not answering their messages just because doing social media is my job. I sort of get overwhelmed by notifications and like because of that like I'm a really bad texter and like I don't reply to people immediately or I just miss messages or I miss DMs like super super easily and then because of that like my friends will like want to hang out and do stuff and I literally just like don't see the text or just don't answer them and I feel so bad so I need to get better at that and recently like over like the past couple of months I've been getting better about like actually trying to answer my phone and like do stuff with people because I realized I was feeling like I have no friends but then I'm like you know what? I actually do have a lot of friends I'm just straight up ignoring them so don't ignore your friends go hang out and do things and have a good time. At what age do you want to get married? I feel like it doesn't really like matter that much for me but like probably like mid to late 20s I'm trying to like put off having kids until I'm like late 20s. Going through childbirth just seems like insane. Like I'll do it, but it seems insane. What else do people ask? I need to stop biting my nails. That's my worst habit ever. Oh, also I should mention where my outfit's from. I was like just looking at my rings. I'll mention where all my jewelry is from and my outfit just because I know I will probably get questions about this. So I have on a bunch of rings right now. Any of these little tiny gold jeweled rings that you guys can see, these are from Linger. And then all these silver ones are from like different flea markets. This one I just got in New York City this weekend. This one's from Woodstock. Woodstock. Maybe this one I got on Depop and I have a band-aid on this finger because I was wearing press-on nails because I had to do like a little photo shoot where I'm like holding something so I'm like I gotta have nice nails for this. Of course this always happens to me but the press-ons always rip off like at least one of my nails so like it completely tore off like the nail bed of this one so now I'm gonna have to like let it regrow for like two months. Oh well though. That's the price I pay for having nice nails for like five days. So I'm wearing this tank top. Love it. It is from Yet's fronds. It's like very sporty. It's orange on the side like this. And then these pants that I'm wearing are from Motel Rocks. They're I think the parallel jeans or parallel corduroy pants. I wear a size extra small slash 31 length and I'm usually like a 26 inch waist but they're like my favorite pants. They're like really baggy and I'm really into wearing baggy pants and like a tight top. Oh, and then this necklace, also from Linger, it's their opal birthstone necklace because I'm born in October. These little earrings my mom got for me, I have no idea where they're from. And then these little hoops are from Linger as well with like a little pearl on it. I have two ear piercings. I want to get more. My mom's going to get angry at me, but I want to get like a third or like one up here. And I'm also a gold jewelry person. Someone says, what does adulting feel like? Um, feels okay. I feel like I know a lot of stuff about taxes. I know a lot of stuff about retirement funds. Yeah. I mean, it's not the most fun, but it is good knowledge to have. What are my hobbies? That's a really good question. Obviously YouTube. I don't know if that, I can call that a hobby when it's like my job, but I guess it, it feels like a hobby though because like I do really enjoy it. So I'll say like YouTube's a hobby. I also love to read books. I really like to paint, like drawing, painting. I feel like I've always really been into. I like to cook if that's a hobby. I mean, I always do like stuff with like my family. So like we always go skiing, dirt bike riding, snowmobiling. Recently, my brother and I have like been in the process of getting our pilot's licenses, licenses. So like that's something that like I'm slowly working towards. It might take me a while just because if, if I move away from here, then I don't know if I can still do lessons wherever. I don't know. I don't know. But that's something that is like a goal of mine for the future is to get my private pilot's license. And then I kind of want to get into BMX because Andrew has an extra BMX bike and like he's like, let me teach you how to do BMX. So I'm like, okay, I'll totally do BMX, but I can like barely bunny hop even. These are like such random hobbies, I feel like. Fortnite cat, Fortnite cat. I like how every time I hold her, she just holds her arms like this. Like, bro, are you good? What is your favorite way to unwind? I feel like my favorite way to unwind, just in general, be like to get off my phone. I would just like to sit there and do nothing. I don't even know. Or just like go on a walk. I love to go on walks. I would love to get a back massage. A back massage is probably the only thing that I ever want in my life, like ever. I feel like my back is, like my shoulders are always really tense. I've never even been to like a masseuse, like a real masseuse. That's on my bucket list. I need to make a bucket list. Go to a masseuse. See the Grand Canyon. How to be yourself. I mean, sometimes I feel like I still struggle with this. I feel like everyone like kind of struggles with it, but just don't care what other people think. Your time on this earth is short. So why even care? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Favorite Disney movie? Probably Lilo and Stitch or The Lion King or Ariel. Or I like Big Hero 6, but that's like newer. 
are we getting the Nantucket vlog soon? Yes, Nantucket vlog one is already up. So I'll have it linked right up here. How many kids do you want? I feel like I would like at least three kids because then your like children can have like a little friend group. And I feel like it's really nice to have like a good sibling friend group dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, you play Tame Impala. How did you do that without even logging into my computer? Like it's still like this. Okay. She has almost deleted like entire videos off my laptop. Bro, stop biting my laptop. This is like the most random question. Do you like barbecue? I love barbecue. Oh, someone asked how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan for six years, I think, since I was like junior, senior in high school. I should bring this Q&A to an end. It's getting really long, but I hope it was a good catch up, guys. I love Q&As. I should do them like once a month. I really love to do a Q&A, just like really catch up and like feel super connected with you guys. And I love to hear about like what you guys are doing in your lives, like down in the comments. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you guys want to check out Better Help, you guys can click the the link right down below in my description and get 10% off of your first month. Once again, highly recommend. I feel like it's helped me so much mentally. So if you guys are considering that for yourself, definitely go give it a look. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to double tap the like button, double tap the subscribe button, and of course, make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.